Hi, singles. Thank you for joining me. I, um, I wanted to take my time today, so I did something a little bit different. Um, so if you're single and you're here uh, because you have a question, concern, prayer, dream, you know, wonder about a situation involving love, right, involving love, even if you're single, these are the energies I pulled for us today. This is May 12th, 2016. If it comes to you another time, go with it. It's cool. I figure if you find your way to this video, then the energy probably connects to you some way. So I just did one for uh, couples, and um, they had a beautiful reading. And part of the reading, part of the reason I wanted to give the reading um, and definitely do the video was because one of the cards was for pregnancy. And if you're a couple, that's a pretty important message to give out. And I felt like I needed to give it out. So that being said, um, I always pull for the highest and greatest good of everybody involved. You, me, everybody in your life, their life, their life, their life. And I do it so we all tap into our own psychic sense better. Our own spiritual frequency. You know, tune our dial to get a clearer station. You know, and maybe please better music we groove to. So if you're um, wondering about love energy today, this is what I pulled. And uh, I also want to mention that it doesn't make complete sense to me at all. Some of it does, it's, it's nice, but some of this doesn't make sense to me. So I still want to give it out there because I feel like if you're here, maybe there's something for you that will make sense. So please interpret what I say and see how it resonates into your life. See how um, it makes you feel, what signs and symbols you're drawn to, um, you know, what senses flicker for you in your own life, your own situation, and your own universe, your own scenario, and your own story. And then um, no matter where you look out here for answers, always do the double check in here and make sure that it sits right with your heart and your soul. So um, this is what I got. I'm going to just start reading and then I'm, I also want to pull cards on camera. I do. So I have all of these like words of truth. <laughs> There's so many of them. There's actually even more than that. And I had them a minute ago nicely in piles until I picked them up. Okay, so I forgot until singles, until I pulled the cards out, um, that I actually gave you a little bit extra that I didn't give the couples that I pulled tarot cards. I forgot. So I'm keeping them here because it's done and it's meant for somebody. So the basic energy around these oracle cards I get to before I get to the other cards, singles, is... The Queen of Wands, the Prince of Hearts, and the Eight of Wands. So this is a lot of information going to the Prince of Hearts, to the Queen of Wands, from the Queen of Wands, from the Prince, from the Prince of Hearts. But the Queen of Wands is sitting back in her. Uh, so this is a fire energy, maybe a fire sign you're dealing with, feminine, in the feminine fire sign part of you, maybe. Um, maybe it's someone you're going to meet. Maybe it is you, but. She has a sitting back, chilling, fire in the everything going on, and like a moth to a flame. I feel like whatever is going on with her, the information might be coming to her more. Or that she's sitting back, chilling, and a lot of information is coming out from her as she's sort of chilling and grooving in her fire, right? Then you have the Prince of Hearts. Let me let you look at her. I mean, look at that. She looks like she's doing a tango with herself. But you can't tango with yourself, right? It takes two to tango. So, hmm. She's got a fire in her hair. That makes me think that I should pull the Prince of Hearts because I feel like these guys are tangoing. So, singles, if this is the energy that comes into your life today, do the tango. Right? Do the tango. He totally looks like he's ready to do the tango. Look at him holding his heart on the horse. The horse is even dancing with him. Speaking of horse... Speaking of horse, let's take a side step there and use all that information moving stuff to go to this. I pulled the horse for you guys today. Maybe this is like, I mean, I see the sun 
And I see this big like petroglyph or whatever in the in the ground. This makes me want to tell you that whoever had the video that I did yesterday that had the wildwood tarot and uh, had that big like horse thing in the field. It's in here too. So maybe I feel like it was Pisces. So maybe Pisces means something. I see a key in the rock. I also see a, a soldier in the rock. And then I see like time, like up here. You know how when you grow, you do the little markings on how tall you are? Like, can you see it? I don't know where to press. Right? Or like, there's also holly berries, grapes, pine cones. Uh, So pine cone, pineal gland, then there, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Um, but there's a beautiful field. It just looks kind of like the sun card in the Pisces video I did yesterday. So maybe you're dealing with the Pisces today. Um, also, I think Chinese zodiac. So maybe you need to look at the, uh, the qualities of the horse in uh, the Chinese zodiac. Maybe that's meaningful or maybe that's who you're dealing with. Um, the next thing we got was Earth Force. And I see all these big, like, Earth things, right? And there's Raphael, so Earth Force healing. Healing with the Earth energy. So if you're single, there's, I, I just want to say this has nothing to do with a love reading, but maybe if you're single, you have a bigger reason to be here uh, and to connect with nature, with the Earth. Maybe you, you have a special connection, a grounding. Maybe you need to be grounded. There's like a labyrinth here and or a um, crop circle. And then there's like a megalith. One of the big, so you have a feminine energy on the ground growing. And then there's a rooted, look how big this is. You see that megalith up there? It's probably like 25 feet tall. And the energy of that's massive and it goes up, right? and um, circulates, it, it grounds the energy of the earth to uh, circulate correctly or differently in the atmosphere. That's what megaliths do, or one of the things they do, or so I believe. So then you have spiritual teacher, you know, your life perfect purpose involves teaching others and healing and spirituality. So there's this girl and she's like sitting outside in the little lawn with all the little bunnies. It kind of makes me want to go do the, do the video out there. She's got her little antennas. So she has her radio, you know, frequency, spiritual tuner on. She's listening and she's sensitive. You know, she's just sitting on the ground on her butt. Bunnies make me think of like, I don't know, like they're all learning. It makes me think of like, um, it makes me think of Snow White a little bit. Talking to the animals, learning from nature. Maybe if you're a single, there's uh, lessons in nature for you. Or maybe you need to go to a park and meet some people and be around the bunnies. Um, you got this. Find the blessing in your current situation, Krishna. So, and then I'm going to show you this at the same time. Because I don't know what this is. But it's number 26. And it's hostilities. So, do you, it makes me think of like, I don't look at this as mean. I look at him as being a little bit scared. So, Maybe you've had hostilities placed upon you, singles, because of something, because of fear. I mean, ultimately, that's what it would stem from, past situations, maybe. But this is telling you to take off your mask, to take off your helmet. You know, he's got his muscles out, you know. He doesn't have that much protection on. He looks like he's totally ready to fight if you come at him. But he kind of looks like he doesn't want to fight. 
So maybe you had to fight in the past about something that came and you're sort of always on edge, or at least today, today you're feeling a little bit on edge because whatever you are going to experience, you don't know if you have to snap or attack or defend yourself. So just be aware of this. Don't make this a crutch in your day. Change how you look at this card. You know, look at him as like sparring with a sexy girl that knows how to fight and they just sort of get their energy out in the woods doing some like, that's just a nerf sword, you know? Maybe it's not like a real sword and he's like looking at her a totally different way now because she totally is just as strong as him and now she is starting to get hot so she's taking off her shirt and has on her bra and now he can't quite concentrate. So he was ready to fight now he's a little confused. He wanted to be hostile, and now he kind of likes her. He kind of likes her. It's like he was seven again, except she could almost kick his ass now, just like when he was seven. He doesn't know what to do. He still thinks he looks sexy. He still likes how she looks, too. He's kind of getting turned on by this situation. All right, singles, I just took this card and took it into a totally different direction. I hope you're with me with that one. Let's go to some I Ching to balance it out. Well, let me show you this. Look at your treasure island. Where's your treasure island in Atlantis? This is like your golden treasure island. This is ancient. You have the turtle here. Look at this. Number nine, completion, treasure island. Where is your treasure island? If you closed your eyes, I can't see my phone at all. I have no idea what I'm looking at. If you closed your eyes, and you could take a ride on this turtle in this crystal clear aqua water and just go there and close your eyes, not as a treasure chest, but where would it be? What would you experience? How would it feel? How would that feel in your skin to be there, right? You got Atlantis too. So I keep wanting to say like ancient with you guys today. Two dolphins swimming in the water. Maybe you need to swim in the waters of your of your paradise today, in your emotional paradise, wherever that is. Dive deep, guys. Dive deep to find your treasure island. Um, this card came up. This could be the one. And it says, singles, singles, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. So if you're here, and you are confused by this card, just maybe the Atlantis card resonates with you. Um, but if you're here and you can think about somebody from your past, or somebody in your life now, or somebody somewhere that you've met, or you may meet soon. You might meet them today, since it's for today. But you've met them, and you kind of know what you want. So, where does that take you in your story? Maybe that was a hostile situation before. Maybe there's something coming back, or reigniting, or reuniting. Um, did I do all these? No, not the home. Out of the Linamare, you got the home card. Home is where the heart is. Maybe your heart is in paradise. I'm going to give you guys a part two because I'm going to run out of time. And I want to pull some of the words of truth. So, this is gate 33. Uh, retreat. Active withdrawal and the transformation of the weak position into a strength. Wisdom and experience is shared through the voice of remembrance. Privacy and the revelation of secrets. Line six is disassociation. Line five is timing. Line four, dignity. Line three, spirit. Line two, surrender. And line one, avoidance. Let me pull you a couple of cards from here. Competition. Aggression. Knowing. Delusion. Pleasure. Safety. Gapped. 
love you. I'll see you soon.